We believe that God touched the earth, and in a rush of tenderness, fashioned man and woman, formed them in his image, loving them as a father loves a child. And in an hour of grace, God chose Mary to be our mother, pure, wise, gentle, merciful, faithful, morning star, mirror of justice, queen of peace. And she said, yes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We gather today to crown this image of the mother of Jesus as we acclaim Mary, the mother of God, as our queen and as the mother of the church. Let us imitate her example and be attentive to the word of God. As we honor Mary, who is higher than the cherubim, and yet like us, let us pray that through her intercession we may achieve holiness of life and a deepened faith, hope, and love as we seek to do the will of God in all things. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our queen and our mother. With the support of her prayers, may we come to share the glory of your children in the kingdom of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The class of 1998 set aside a day in the month of May to honor Mary, establishing a new tradition. And this year, we start a new tradition. We are grateful to the Norbertine sisters who graciously offered to create beautiful handcrafted bracelet rosaries for the 8th grade girls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Through the Son born of Mary, every blessing comes to us from God our Father. May His grace and peace be with you all. Brothers and sisters, the Blessed Virgin was chosen to be the Mother of God as part of the eternal plan for the incarnation of the Word. On this earth, she was the cherished Mother of the Redeemer and in a unique way the companion of His saving work. The form of prayer that we call the Rosary is a way of contemplating and extolling the plan of divine providence. This is the reason why the pastors of the Church have always praised the Rosary and urged its use. The Church bestows a special blessing upon Rosaries and on those who, as they recite this prayer, reflect on the mysteries of our redemption. By this blessing, the Church intends that with Mary and through Mary, God's praises will be sung. Because the Rosary is rightly considered to be a preeminent sign of devotion to Mary, let us call upon the name of the Lord through the intercession of the One in whose honor we will bless these Rosaries. 
The response now to each petition is, Lord, hear our prayer. Most compassionate Father, when Mary consented to your word, you chose her as the companion of the Redeemer. Grant that through her intercession, your church may abound in the fruits of Christ's redemption. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. You joined the Virgin Mary to your Son in a close and unbreakable bond, and showered her with the fullness of your grace. Grant that we may always find her to be our advocate, pleading for the graces we need. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In Mary you have provided us with the perfect example of following Christ. Help us to strive to reflect in our lives the mysteries that we devoutly recall in the Rosary. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. You taught Mary to keep all your words in memory. Grant that following her example, we may hold fast to the words of your Son in faith and carry them out in our lives. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. You gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they were at prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Grant that, persevering in prayer, we may walk in the Spirit even as we live in the Spirit. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Blessed be our God and Father who has given us the mysteries of his Son to be pondered with devotion and celebrated with faith. May he grant us his faithful people that by praying the rosary, we may, with Mary, the mother of Jesus, seek to keep his joys, sorrows, and glories in our minds and hearts. And grant, O Lord, we pray, that in reciting the rosary, your faithful may confidently seek the help of Mary as they meditate upon the mysteries of Jesus Christ. Help them to affirm by their actions the truths they treasure in their prayer. And may Almighty God bless these rosaries, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the end, Jesus leaves his mother with great sorrow. When he sees Mary and the disciple he loves, he says, Woman, behold your son. And to the disciple he loves, he says, Behold your mother. In that moment, Mary became our mother too. In silence, at the very center of the mystery, she stands, ready to embrace us. When the school community bids farewell to the class of 2020, we are confident that, though they will continue their journeys without us, they will not walk alone. The 8th grade boys will present the girls with spring bouquets and bracelet rosaries, reminders of the companionship that Mary offers. dangers, in doubts, in difficulties, think of Mary, call upon Mary. Let not her name depart from your lips, never suffer it to leave your heart. And that you may obtain the assistance of her prayers, neglect not to walk in her footsteps. With her for guide, you shall never go astray. While invoking her, you shall never lose heart. So long as she is in your mind, you are safe from deception. While she holds your hand, you cannot fall. Under her protection, you have nothing to fear. If she walks before you, you shall not grow weary. If she shows you favor, you shall reach your goal. Let us pray. 
God our Father, you give joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, bring us to the happiness of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.